Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Nursery to Varsity. In this video, we are going to be discussing the features of blockchain. So these uh, the these features will be in three parts. The first video will have the two features, and the next will have the two features, and the next so on. Okay. So if you have not watched any other videos of blockchain in our playlist, then you can go backward and watch all those videos so that you can get idea what we are going to discuss in this video. Okay. So let's get started. All right. So first of all, we have six major features of blockchain that includes immutability, distributed ledger, decentralized system, consensus protocol, advanced security, that is the cryptography, and the mining. So in this video, we are going to discuss the immutability and distributed ledger. So first of all, what is immutability? What we understand with the word immutable? Uh, basically, an immutable thing is uh, which cannot be changed or altered. Okay. So in terms of blockchain, it is the same. The blockchain is immutable. That means the blockchain cannot be altered. That is why if you have watched the previous video, I already explained that if we tamp try to tamper any uh, block, then the whole blockchain will get dissolved. Okay. So this is how the blockchain is immutable. That it cannot be changed. So in this, every node has a copy of digital ledger. So first of all, we have in mind what is ledger. So ledger is basically any 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 file or document that relates to a monetary unit. For example, like uh, a property documents or the financial banking documents, so on. Okay, so that is what is ledger about. So the changes can only be made if we have the majority of nodes who are ready to get altered. So here comes the forty nine percent and fifty one percent. The ratio that is if the tad the blockchain can only be tampered if we have the validity from 51 percent of nodes so up to 50 percent if you try try to tamper the data the other 50 percent will undo the changes okay so this is how the blockchain maintains its immutability so the transactions are added by checking its validity on the majority of nodes so Hope you get the little bit idea of what is immutability. Let's take this uh, in detail. So the blockchain applications like uh, bitcoins that we have heard in like previous years a lot or ether that is uh, the ethereum platform uh, which provides the currency that is ether. The immutability is achieved via proof of work mechanism. So basically a proof of work comes under the consensus protocol but here we have to explain. So proof of work is basically the work that is being done to validate a block, to validate a transaction in a blockchain. So whenever we try to add a transaction we have to have the proof of work. So proof of work is a computationally intense, very energy inefficient and extra slow brute force method. So if you uh, co co concentrate on these three words immu computationally intense and very energy inefficient and extra slow brute force so these three points might feel like they are the negative ones but they are actually the positive side of the blockchain because uh, suppose a fraud try to a fraud or any hacker tries to tamper the data that then it will be almost impossible for him because Already there was uh, so much of energy required so much of power required to generate a single block Then how much energy it will be required for him to tamper the block. Okay, so uh, Hope you get understand this complete concept of this immutability now the next one Okay, so suppose these are the four block chains and you can see this gray block now suppose a uh, fraud tries to tamper this change, tamper this node, all uh, then this will check the data from other blockchains. The, we all know that the blocks are all distributed 
on the network there are millions of blocks so this will check whether the data is changed in other blocks so first of all it will check from this and then it will check from this and now it gets to know that there is no change in data in these nodes so it will not change the data it that means it will not tamper and it restricts the changes okay this is how the tampering of blocks is restricted now distributed ledger so what is a ledger that i already explained uh, a distributed ledger we can understand as a common sense that uh, this ledger is being distributed on all the nodes so there is no centralized system like in a centralized system we have a special node that will transfer the data to all other nodes that will, it will act as a major node and all other as a sub nodes but it is not the case in distributed ledger so in its simplest form a distributed ledger is a database held and updated independently by each participant in a large network okay so the data is held independently now in this every node acts as a verifier for the digital ledger transactions are not communicated to various nodes by central authority as i already explained that the transactions are not being done by any central authority rather it is independently constructed and held by every node so every node have to uh, have to have this uh, transaction the information about the transaction so they have to participate for validation okay so this is how this distributed ledger works and these applications uh, for this distributed ledger there are various applications including like uh, record land registries issues of issuance of passports these are all the governmental sectors but there are also a uh, various several industries for example finance music and entertainment diamond and precious assets artwork supply chains supply chains are the most important features of the blockchain so in supply chain management the blockchain is generally used <clears throat> so this is all for today's lecture hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any queries you can either comment in the comment box or mail us at nerdtowear@gmail.com you can also follow us on twitter facebook linkedin and instagram you can see the links in the image and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated thanks for watching stay tuned